Hello, today I'm at National Indoor RV in Atlanta, Georgia, right here, and in the parking lot what we're coming to look at is a brand new Pleasureway Entour 2.2. So let's go take a look it's just at this new motorhome from Pleasureway. We're going to just do a little walk around on the outside first and then we'll go inside and check out this new uh, pleasure, pleasure way. But anyway, it's got fiberglass running boards. This, this is the 2.2, so it has the dual rear wheels. And outside, it's got a Truma AquaGo water heater. And then right here, a port for a shower, outside shower. Propane hookups to fill your propane tank and an exhaust pipe for the generator on board. What kind of generator is it? I believe it's an Onan, probably a 2500, I'm not sure, but I think it's a 2500. Uh, it runs on gasoline, which is nice because it takes gas out of the main fuel tank. So you don't have to worry about filling up a propane generator, a mm -hmm. uh, propane tank to run your generator. Yeah. And then, uh, but anyway, here's the uh, utility center. It's got a... Uh, your, pro, your propane on off switch, cable in, hook up for city water, and your power cable for short, uh, short, tie, short power. Magnets right here to hold the door open when you open the mm -hmm. door all the way. So on the back, you have a, the third brake light, and I do believe. Yeah, right here is the uh, backup camera. The camera's right here. So if you have a bike on the back or a, a hitch back here, it's not blocked by the camera. The camera's still going to see it. The, the road behind you when you're backing up, that is. On the inside here, this has got lithium batteries, so they're behind this panel. This is pretty heavy. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see. 50 pounds. Magazines, there's magazines in there. Okay, brochures. So a little bit of storage. It's padded. There's your short cable power. Nice step on the back. Yeah, it's got a little step here. And up here, there's that screen. There's some something up here. Oh, that's the that's the back screen that's rolled up. That's what that is. So this comes out and you you can drop this down and have a your screen and when you're not using it it goes up there it's nice it's tucked out of the way that's and it nice. zips that's good it's yeah it's got zippers on both sides probably here. easier than magnets yeah 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 so there's the they rear. all have their good points yeah. okay so let's close the doors up and take a look at the passenger side all right. i like an rv where the back door opens you get a lot of a lot of ventilation. Circulation and air, cool air coming through. All right, so here we have two outlets. They're uh, inverted outlets. And then this right here, portable water. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's where you fill your water tank. This is a vent for the batteries. And this is a, a vent for the, uh, the Truma heater right here. This is for the furnace. It's got a furnace vent. Mud flaps. And then you have a nice little light right here for a porch light. And let's go inside. Take a look. Carefree awning. Yeah. Got a carefree awning. Yeah, you can tell back there it says carefree. Okay, well here we are. We're gonna go into the Pleasure Way on tour. And this has got the light interior with the so I guess they call it the slate gray countertops and the dark uh, interior for the cushions. So starting at the kitchen, you can see it's got the sink with the spray wand. A nice big stainless steel sink, square shaped, rectangular. It has an induction cooktop, a convection microwave, and the only real cabinets in the kitchen there's two doors here with a little space below them 
and the slide out drawer but it's got this notch in there for the drains on the sink kind of messes up the drawer but it is nice and deep though so there's that and then above the stove there's a cabinet it's got a Norcool refrigerator this refrigerator is a uh, 12 volt compressor so it's not propane and I like that it's got a little shelf here an opening in the shelf so you can put like a tall bottle of milk or so and then a free compartment positive latch here and some more storage up there this is neat right here this is a microwave reset and the induction reset so if they get tripped this is where you reset them push a the little button there And let's see, going back further, there's a window above the sink, not above the stove, I guess. And these are standard Ford windows right here. They open up a little different. They have a little squeeze here. You squeeze that, and then it fold it like that. It hinges on the front, and it's open to the rear. But, you know, if it's raining, water can come down here. So that is a, a slight issue. You got that and then nice draw down shades these are those ought to block the light really good for privacy it's got a LG smart TV a Bose sound bar and here's your spider control this is pretty interesting because in mine I don't have this inverter loads light and tells you how much volts your uh, inverter is and the amps and the Hertz mine just has the uh, battery and then a uh, meter like that a plus or minus meter but it doesn't show the uh, the loads I like the loads being shown that's that's pretty nice and then uh, in the closet here you have a couple of panels these go down into the opening between the ottomans there's a little shelf down here and that fills in for your bed the couch it lays down it's a power sofa on the control panel you hit this, you hit sofa extend, and it lays it down. There we go, that makes your bed. You could sleep with just two people. You know, if, you, if you just wanted that side ottoman, and you didn't want to fill in the middle, you could sleep that way, but I prefer the full bed filled in. And to bring it back up, you just hit retract. And I'm gonna close the uh, the uh, fantastic fan. It's got a fantastic fan right there. <laughs> Went ahead and close that. A Dometic air conditioner. It's 11,000 BTU. And then uh, your control panels for your Zantex inverter, 2,000 watt inverter. Your solar panels controller here, and the Truma water heater. And this little thing right here. That's a sensor for the uh, uh, temperature inside to know what the temperature is for your air conditioning and this little thing right here that's not um, standard equipment that's optional and I removed it okay well here we go uh, above the, uh, the driver's cab you have a little shelf here and a little space behind the driver's seat and there's an outlet there and a USB outlet and then let's take a look at the bathroom now it's a little different bathroom layout. It has a, a little step down here to, to get in and out without too much of a tripping hazard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A shower, a detachable shower wand. And I like this right here. You got a hot lever and a cold lever. So you just turn on hot or cold, which is nice. Has a little medicine cabinet right here. Nice little medicine cabinet. And then you have a that's what I like is yeah. that um, little shelf. shelf there with the rail on it. I think I could get just about everything I need right there. Mm -hmm. So that's that's real helpful. And I like a window in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, and you have a porcelain toilet. Nice, china. It's always nice. Uh, floor here, and then you have the curtain that wraps around. Okay, and a towel rack. That's yeah, nice little Sometimes towel rack you there. don't get a towel rack, so that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. And two lights in here. 
well lit. Mm -hmm. And there's an outlet down here for a 110. Mm -hmm. There's a 110 outlet. Yeah, you run your hair dryer. You know, you can run your hair dryer with a 2000 watt inverter. You can run a hair dryer or hair iron. It's a uh, coffee pot. Yeah, coffee pot. Uh, Instapot. Instapot, yeah. It's a uh, toaster, even a small toaster. If you, I think you should probably run them each separately. Mm -hmm. It's almost like being at home. All the conveniences of home, almost. And there's a couple more cabinets down here. Mm -hmm. And more they have a little bit of a lip, so things would just won't yeah, slide out. Up. Hopefully. Here's the bathroom. Now the bathroom size. I'm a big guy. And sit back so I can get the full headroom. effect. I got headroom. It's not real big to shower. But um, I'm six foot two, and uh, here's the bathroom view. Hi. Yeah. Got a little window. You can look out the window. It's great. It's nice. And you, you know, it's not like being at home. But then again, I don't want it to be like being at home. No. I'm RVing. I'm traveling. Yeah. So you. If I want it to be like home, I'll just stay home. Exactly. So you put up with little things like a tight bathroom or small shower, but it's great. It's yeah. Fun. You can. I mean. If you were parked somewhere, you could be sitting at the at the uh, beach Canyon. or somewhere, yeah. Grand Canyon, and look at that window. Sit there, looking out the bathroom window, <laughs> at no telling what beauty would be out there. Mm -hmm. So that's the bathroom, and that's the, the same thing goes with sitting on the couch back there. And that's the, the beauty of a small class B. You can go anywhere in these things. Mm -hmm. You can, when you say, honey, stop the car, you really can. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. It's a, it's an interesting little RV. It's on the Ford Transit chassis, Ford Transit chassis, which is a gas engine, which eliminates a lot of the uh, issues with DEF and uh, diesel idling and stuff like that. So there it is, the Pleasure Way on tour 2.2, and we are at National Indoor RVs in Atlanta, Georgia. They have one in stock right now. Thanks for watching.